Do I hear myself? Yeah, okay. I had such a bad delay on on my tablet last week. I have to see if this week is better. Yes, it is. Otherwise, I would use my phone. Sorry for this. <laughs> Hello. And welcome. Um, so I will be able to read on my tablet. Great. Hello, Moose. Hello, Doris, my moderators. Hello, Linda, Mary, Jane, Malagant. I don't know. Hello, Piggy. Piglet is here. Hello, Karen. Yay! Hello, Mel. Hello, Jean, Laura, Janet, Susan. And another Susan, Paula, hello. Okay, so another fun <laughs> Sunday. We will play the game again, like we do our last look. I still forgot that I can't <laughs> have those glasses on while I'm looking in camera. Um, so we will play a game. You will choose the technique and five colors and I already have black and white and pearl white if I want to use them. Last week we did this Dutch pour that unfortunately cracked in some places. So maybe this is the opportunity. There are some cracks, you know, here and here to try to do what Erica Hughes does, but maybe with, I don't know, maybe add some texture, play with it and try to save it because I kind of like it, but obviously I should thin down my paints a little more, but it's still kind of good and experiment because I don't do Dutch pours a, low, a lot. Hello, Rosalia. Rosalia is almost my neighbor here in Slovenia. Hello, Laura. Uh, have to talk about Dublin. <laughs> For those who doesn't, don't know, Fab is coming to Europe. I don't know, it's the first time and I don't know when will be the next time that you will be able to come to Fluid Art event in Europe. So please check Fluid Art Boutique website. Seven artists will come, paint, have fun with you. Uh, Karen from Waterfall Acrylics, drums please. Uh, Karen was always, when I started, Karen was my inspiration a lot of the times and those who doesn't know Karen from Waterfall Acrylics I, I'm sure that you all do but you know Karen that I love you she's an amazing artist so Karen from Waterfall Acrylics will be there Mina Vallegas my dear friend Mina will be there Sarah Mack Erica Hughes Nate Bright Fosia Creations with her chain pools and myself and Nate Bright uh, so grab this opportunity if you didn't, um, because it will be an amazing. And I think that I just feel like that it will be good energy because we're painting castle. I love buildings with the soul, or how can I say? Okay, so if you want. Come to Ireland, to Dublin, June this year and paint with us. We will be there, <laughs> definitely. Okay, so, are we ready for the game? I will just put this canvas away. Uh, maybe here, hope it will not fall down. Okay, so the game. 
I will count from 10 to 1 and then I will write down um, <laughs> the, 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 the word start and the first comment that will Kaba? Rako na vem, povem. Aha, comments. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Yay! Uh, yeah, buildings with spirit. Hello to Colorado. Okay. Uh, I just checked my comments. So, let's play a game. First, we will choose a technique. So, I will count down and you, probably it's the best that you already type but not press enter until I will say start. And the first technique that will pop after my start word will be the technique that will be doing today and then we will repeat the same with colors I will choose first five comments after my start words so, but first we pick technique do we understand what I'm talking about probably because <laughs> I see that a lot of people are here that already know so we can start let's go technique and you can be creative maybe I don't know pour on something or I don't know use a cup I don't know not just you know this 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 is this, this there is so much techniques or how can I say that you can <laughs> challenge me to do so let's start no, I have to write my start that I will press enter when it will be time. Okay. No. I didn't write it. Okay. <sighs> okay. I will start counting. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, start. Open cup. Paula was the first one. I will show you that you will see. I hope that you see. After my start is Paula with open cup. Okie doke. Open cup. Challenge accepted. <laughs> now, okay, I will wait for just a second. Because maybe there is delay, so. Okay, open cup. I'm just not good with open cups. Let's see. I watched some videos from Brian, Studio 15 Acrylics. He did some amazing open cups and Mina, I saw Mina did one video too, but I'm still a little... Okay. Now, colors. Type just one color and you can be precise you know not just blue which kind of blue not just violet you know try to be precise I'm still waiting the two two Sundays that we did this we have all in purples and blues uh, and it was kind of I don't know I was expecting that I will get totally you know, weird color palette like that, but it was good. So, let's, I will start, have to write down. Start again. Mm. 
okay? And I will start counting one color. You type down just one, not five of them. One, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. First one is, I will try to. First one is Chris Deep Magenta. Next one is Linda with Phthalo Blue Green. The next one is Rosalia Carmine Red. And then is Lady Purple. And then one, two, three, four. And then is Moose with Amsterdam Yellow Deep. Okay, Raiko, will you go with me? Raiko will go with me, with my camera. I don't have deep magenta, so I will have to figure out the deep magenta color. I will take the color we use this cardinal red for deep magenta because it is deep magenta. Phthalo blue green. Phthalo blue green. I have phthalo green blue. Sorry for obviously walking is not good. Halo. This is turquoise blue. Mm -hmm. Halo blue green. I will use phthalo green blue. Uh, next I have carmine. Carmine. Where are you? I will use Amsterdam one if I have it. Yes, I have. Carmine. And I know that I, I have Amsterdam Hazel yellow deep, medium, up, deep, yeah, and purple, purple. Let's grab permanent red violet for purple because I don't have on any of my paints that it says purple. I missed one. One, two, three, four. Oh, cut the glass. Just my cameras a little bit since we will do mm -hmm. that. 
Una pa tako odbris, ne? Ok, mixing paints. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Glavo te reže. Glavo zidi. Mhm. Sam zdi raven bolj dol, ne? Sem, če meni glavo reže. Sem te tak bliži dol. A znam, če jih bliži? A? Just a moment more. You don't need to watch me anymore. Okay. So I will just pour my pouring medium. It will not take long. I mix kind of two to one ratio and then I thin down with water if I need to. And with the open cup, I think that, but not, you don't need to do total. I'm just debating if that purple it's too, I choose permanent red violet for the purple. I think that it's maybe too close to the deep magenta. Maybe I will go with one other purple. Okay. Or just and because in my pouring medium is no water, I totally know because I mix binder and acrylic emulsion for my pouring medium that it's that there is a lot of binder so I know that I can thin it down with water if needed. Depends on which technique. Carmine. I love this uh, Amsterdam one Carmine. Maybe I can show you the consistency when I will mix one. Uh, and my colors mix really fast and nice without bubbles. I don't like pouring mediums that you have to wait a day or something, you know, to get the bubbles out. Ta, ta drugo bom consistency pokazala. This is my consistency. And you see, almost no bubbles. So, nice and creamy. I like my pouring medium. So, this is my cardinal red. That will be deep magenta because it is kind of deep magenta color but it's called cardinal red yeah definitely red violet will be too close to that i will switch my amsterdam expert series red violet with golden deep violet maybe or something or maybe windsor violet i will see I definitely don't want that bluish like permanent blue violet by Amsterdam. I don't know why. Okay, let's do the those dry art liquid. Bah. Paints. This one is really green, green. Phthalo green with blue shade. For me, phthalo blue green is Amsterdam greenish blue. So I will use that one. Oh, 
как спорт блок. I don't know who said phthalo <laughs> blue green. This is phthalo blue green for me. Amsterdam greenish blue. Whoop! This is not a good idea. I should have grabbed the bigger. Uh. I always try to be as fast as I can with that process, but you know, it's take time. <laughs> uh, and when we are live. You have to wait in real time for things to happen. No shorts in real life, isn't it? Or just me feeling that, I don't know. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this will do for the phthalo blue-green. I love that color. And for the violet, the last one that it was, I believe. No, last one was oh, purple. Purple, it was purple. I will use diox purple. Diox is in purple. Those colors are so beautiful together already, aren't they? You are so kind. You never choose that weird combinations that I was, you know, a little scared that will pop up. And the dioxys in purple. Isn't it beautiful already? <laughs> So, open cup. With open cup, we want to have some, I don't know, something to cause some effects, aren't we? So I will use my pearl white, definitely to maybe get some lacing or something. Because I assume that the, the lady who suggested open cup didn't think uh, about an open cup with silicone oil. Or who was that lady? Just a second. Where we have that start? Paula. Paula, can you please tell me, did you mean open cup with silicone oil or without? Paula, are you, are you here? Yeah, no silicone. Good. Okay, so... If I will not have a silicone oil, then I need something that it will create something. I think. I need something that it will create something. Okie doke. I will choose black for the base and I have some pearl white ready and I will put spinner here and adjust this camera a little bit and turn off my heat here grab a canvas <laughs> I will use 12 
by a 16 inch canvas. Okay, look. Check my cameras. If you see okay. Kamera? Zdaj ne mrem noge podrševati. Malo lahko daj na umno, pa saj, ki probam naštimati. Noge dala bolj skup, če bo šlo. Ali bo više, veliko pa ne. Ja. Ne vrem, zdaj jim za tako poskuda. Ok. Cup. I will use just a regular plastic cup. I will just put it here. And this will be my open cup. And I will kind of go, I don't know. Gloves. Gloves. I need gloves. And I will thin down just a little bit my black for the base. Just for sure that we will see something pop through. Otherwise, I don't know. kick. I will add just a little more black here around. And this will have a little more space to flow and some magenta and some carmine. I see just a little something popping out. Yeah, it's coming. will be kind of a galaxy looking thing, I believe. I will definitely try to leave some negative space. If I can, I have a problem with the negative space. Ne, ne moram, no me skupuram komentarje, brat. I will 
check comments after. I can't read comments while I pour. I'm sorry. Okay, and here is the part that I'm, you know, I really like that. But, uh, maybe, Rajko de na uno dvojko preklopi. Neki probala. Just a second, because you probably don't see what I see, so I will just... Um, my camera was just too far away. I will adjust the camera that will be kind of above the canvas because I, I'm talking about things that you don't see. Because my camera angle was not good. Okay. You see? And here is a problem. I always struggle because I like this circle. How to get this cup, you know, from here to somewhere that it will not ruin that part that I really like. This is always my problem with open cups. Yeah, I saw Brian, I saw Mina, I saw, I don't know, Molly, I saw a lot of people, but still. <laughs> so, I will definitely drag it somewhere, but if I go to, I really don't know which way would work the best. Maybe just try to go in a circle here in the middle, I don't know. Okay, I think that this will be okay, I don't know. I don't mind negative space as I said, so... Just flood this part here where I think that the negative space will be, if it will be. Still not sure about this stuff, so I will just finger paint a little bit before I will spin this out. not spin. I will tilt it. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay. So let's start. And as I see I have quite a lot of paint and I don't know if I will even keep any negative space now. Whoop. Just a second. Slow down. I just need a little black there before I will go to the other side of the canvas because you can pull this thing on your surface when you will tilt. So I want to have my 
corners. My hands are so shaky lately. Nice. Before I will go, I just grabbed one palette knife that is just not the right one for this, but now I'm okay. And this one. I kind of like this for now, I have to say. Okay. I just want to... I would need a little more black. I like those cells around and I don't want to lose them. Do I have some black mixed somewhere? Leftovers, maybe. No. Uh. You see? It's always good to have a little more paint mixed. Or even I, because I always use too much paint, I think. But here I would definitely need a little more black for my taste that I would be able to keep some of this that I like so much. Okay. that weird one again. I will just use this as a bone. I don't mind some lines of something but Some more paint here. I have a lot. I used too much paint again. I should have add less in my open cup, you know, and it would be just fine. But now I have to tear this off because I have to. And I basically didn't keep any negative space, but I like the painting. Nope, I have to be careful that I will not <laughs> drip from my gloves on the painting, and the drips are so beautiful. Here, on the table, I'm reworking on my edges. Okay. And the sides are so beautiful. Okay. Now I will torch it. So I get some effects from the pearl white, you see, not too much, but just a little bit to add a little something. I kind of, when I was, you know, the last part, still I probably should just leave it without that drag here because colors a little muddied here almost. Not a lot, but you will see when I will take you down for a close up. Okay. 
So, okay. Probably the favorite part of this painting is this for me. Look at those beautiful colors together. I love them. And here is the other part. I'm a little bit sorry that I couldn't keep the negative space because I add too much paint in the open cup. I should add it less. And here is that part, you know, the less drag that maybe you get a little too much mixing of the colors together. Or how can I say? I would rather have no, it was like that when I was just turning around, so I should probably kind of leave it like that. But um, it's a little weird painting, but I like it. Ragogupa Jura. Okay. It was only 40 minutes, like I said, so we were kind of quick today. Aren't we? wait to see this dry because it has really some beautiful beautiful details in it. Uh, yeah. Okay, comments, questions, thank you. Thank you, Mel. Thank you, Linda. I, Aisha, Aisha. Uh, I have videos how I, I mix my pouring medium. Um, I think. Ooh, do go nazai. Mm. Question, how do you determine what order to layer the colors? Today, because we had an open cup, I was thinking that I don't want, that I want colors to go from, I don't know, because those colors that we had, you know, from red, to yellow to red to purple to blue, because I know that yellow and red will be good together. Red and uh, magenta good together. Magenta and violet good together. Greenish blue and violet good together. White. So it's not likely that I would get any mud. But when I started, I had in my head that my base coat is black so I didn't want to start with yellow because I don't necessarily like the color that yellow and black produce together because that green is just not the green that I like so that's how I decided that I will go from the other side of the the order that I choose so from that green to yellow but if I would do uh, a straight pour with those colors, I would probably, not probably, definitely go a little differently. I would ye add yellow maybe between red and magenta and blue between magenta and um, purple to give it some contrast. Uh, and it will definitely be 
totally different but here I wanted to have this gradient of colors you know kind of go from with the flow not you know cut them to give them more I don't know dimension or something I wanted to have it that way uh, it's kind of hard to explain because um, I normally go with the feeling. I don't follow any rules. I don't even know. I never studied the color wheel. I just go with the flow. Try to feel what will go good next to each other and all together depending on the technique. And depending on the technique I choose the order. Uh, yeah, uh, no metallics, just the pearl white make that sparkle and those, you know, cells. Uh, question, K. Okay. When I paint it, it never dries the same way. Colors run into each other and get much darker. Yeah. Um, Colors do da dry darker because, you know, even my pouring medium is white when, you know, and when you mix your colors, they are lighter. If you would, you, if you would pour just with, I don't know, transparent pouring medium that it's totally transparent, it would not be as much difference, but here it is different. Uh, and why your colors kind of blend together. Maybe your mixture is too thin. If you want paint to stay kind of the same, your paint has to be on the thick side, not on the thin side. And depends on the pouring medium too, I believe. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, Garrick, I agree. <laughs> I agree. The sides are the most beautiful part of that painting. The, the, all, all of the sides. I really love them. Um, <laughs> Linda, yeah, maybe I should use the wheel. Hello, Shannon. Can you use, Mary, can you use pouring medium for a flow extender? Yes. I, I used the pouring medium as my flow extender in some occasions, but it can be tricky because it's white when wet and sometimes Maybe I can show you the example of what I'm talking about. Just a second. So on this painting just a second, have to figure out how to show you that. Okay, doke. So, this is just an experiment that I did, I don't know when. And I used um, my transfer, my pouring medium as my flow extender and you see here I didn't saw when it was wet that here are those black weird things because my pouring medium was white and it was on top of that and I didn't saw that and I didn't know and here same thing but this one is not so but don't bother me as much as this part here. 
This is the only thing that can go wrong because you don't see it transparent when you pour it, but you see it white. Okay? Uh, any more questions? Was the canvas black? No, Mary. It was white. My canvas was white, but under my pouring medium that is white, when it's wet, was a little bit of black paint when I was tilting and, you know, fooling around with paint. And I didn't saw that it's black underneath because it dries transparent and it shows everything. Hmm, question. Cracks can be from over torching it. Maybe. Maybe, but I kind of torch the same every time and I don't have as much problems, but that Dutch poor cracked. I don't know why. But it's all it's also it's a problem, you know, here is very cold and yeah, I have a heater here in my studio. But uh, paints, pouring paints can react a little differently when it's warm outside on, or in your studio. Even though, you know, we have heater, it's a different temperature, different air, different conditions to dry. And sometimes in the winter we have, we have some problems. Okay, so I think that I answered all the questions. Uh, I will show you the dry result. I, I'm pretty sure that this will dry really, really beautiful because it's beautiful. Uh, and we will do another one next, next week. So thank you all for coming. Thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you all for being my members of my channel. You know my members who you are. Um, your support really means a lot to me. So I will take this to dry. You have a nice Sunday and see you tomorrow on my regular Monday video. Thank you again and bye.